This is the morning commute in Hong Kong. I'm going to the ferry terminal to go to Macau. That's the harbor. Pedestrian walkways everywhere. This is the morning commute. I'm about to take one of these ferries to Macau. Not for me. He's sitting. How fast is it? Uh, one hour to Macau. Okay. Do mm. we bring you a passport? Yes. Yeah. Okay, so how about we test? This is basically about $85 for both of us to go to Macau for the day. The ferry leaves every 15 minutes. We're going to Macau. This is our ferry. Woohoo! Macau is a special administrative region of China that was once ruled by the Portuguese starting in the 16th century, lasting until 1999 when it was handed over to the Chinese. Macau is a popular region for gambling and is the only area in China where you can legally gamble. In fact, it overtook Las Vegas as the biggest gambling destination in the world. The city has a unique mix of colonial Portuguese and Chinese buildings. All right, so I've reached Macau. Check this out. This is the Portuguese area here. This is the historic downtown. Look at these buildings. I've never seen so many colonial buildings. Like, what do you think? I love it. First impressions. Awesome. Really like, cool. We've been transported. We've been transported to a new world. The historic center of Macau is a UNESCO World Heritage Site, which includes the Senado Square. Macau is governed by two systems, one country, where it controls its own currency and its own customs. On the currency, you'll see the St. Dominic's Church, which is done in Baroque style. There's the Macau flag is at the top right there, and also right there. You'll also notice the Portuguese blue tiles, or azulejos, all over Macau. This is Macau. It's really hot here. Macau consists of three islands connected by beautiful modern bridges. Here we take a taxi to a famous restaurant called Fernando's that serves fusion food, Chinese and Portuguese. This is the beach in Macau. Bring your bathing suit. Fernando's is a beachside restaurant where we enjoyed Portuguese fusion food, including wine and clams, but we found ourselves in a little bit of a predicament when we ran out of cash. So we're at the beach. We just dined at Fernando's, which is a Portuguese restaurant. Uh, the meal ended up costing about $7.65 Hong Kong, which is about $100 US, and we ran out of Hong Kong money. All the taxi drivers only take Hong Kong or Macau dollars, so now we have to find a way to get back home. So I think we found a way out. This bus behind me is $6.40, $6.40 to get back to the historic district versus $115 for a taxi. All right, ladies, this is an Asian toilet. There you go, that's what you deal with here. All right, we made it on the bus. Bring cash, bring exact change when you come to my While on the bus, we pass by some of the massive casinos, including Studio City, which has a Hollywood theme. Inside, there's a club called Pacha, the same that's found in Ibiza. Look, it's just like Vegas, Paris, Passing by the Venetian Hotel right here. Although there's no water inside, I'm not sure what happened. Got off the bus. It took us to where we wanted to go. Six 
dollars versus like a hundred. That's part of the day. Cheers. There's a Brazilian restaurant here. Next, we head to the ruins of St. Paul, built by the Jesuits in the early 1600s. During its heyday, it was one of the largest Catholic churches in Asia. Oh, hi! <laughs> Look at this. This is so cool. Look at this architecture going on through. The ruins of St. Paul are one of Macau's most visited attractions. Only the facade remains, the rest was burned down in a fire caused by a typhoon in 1835. Macau is a unique mix of Chinese culture, 400-year-old Portuguese heritage, and Las Vegas extravagance. If you're staying in Hong Kong, it's definitely worth a side trip. One of the best street foods to get in Macau is the egg waffle, which is a tasty dessert. Look at all the motorbikes. We hope that you get a chance to visit Macau very soon. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button and subscribe for more travel videos.